What's up, everybody? My name is Christian French, and I am hanging out with Rob on Front Row Live. All right, Christian, it's good seeing you again, man. It, it, it feels like it's good been a long time. It just hasn't. Like, you, you've been – uh, we, we, we talked right when you were getting ready for tour rehearsals uh, for Bright Side of the Moon, and then now – we're here again, getting ready for another EP that's dropping this week. Um, talk to me about man. that creative process with this new EP and like, how different is it for you now? Yeah, man, it's just like, I don't know, every year is just, hold on, I'm sorry, there's a lot of noise going on here. Every <laughs> year is just like me being, you know, another year in the music industry. When I first started this, I was really, really had no idea what I was doing. I was kind of just thrown into the music industry in a sense of being in school and then you know just getting a tour offer and dropping out of school next thing I know I'm full-time doing music and um there's been just a huge learning curve with figuring it all out and um I think this last EP is like you know really one of the first times that I feel like I have a really good grip of what I want to say and a way that I know how to do it and like you know I'm able to you know play play the guitar a little bit on these tracks play the piano on all these tracks and like you know just be a lot more involved with these tracks and it's just just another evolution that i don't know i just feel way more involved and way more connected to this music do you feel like it had a lot to do with um like the tours that you were doing um for uh bright side of the moon that kind of like gave you this new perspective of music this new perspective of like kind of how to like envision these songs live um but but when you're like in the studio recording them? 100%. Yeah, man. Like so much I, I feel like of my like, you know, musical maturity and just growth as an artist has come from touring. And, and yeah, exactly. Like seeing how songs translate live and, you know, being able to be on stage and performing the songs, like it really helps with, um, you know, creating special moments within the song that, you know, will translate once it's live and um yeah having that experience is is so huge with creating music so talk to me about like the creative process with these six tracks and like did you self-produce this like did you bring someone else in to to kind of help you out with that process like what was that like for you um so it's funny that you say six because it was six and uh, it's now seven because I begged my record label to put one more song <laughs> nice. on. Uh, <yeah. laughs> um, and so really quick, I'm going to talk about the seventh song that I put on. It's called Wake Up. And I made it like uh, a month ago with my roommate. And um, I don't know, it, it just really fit into the category of Good Things Take Time. I really loved it. And, um, you know, I wasn't kind of expecting to write a culturally charged song, but um I did and it really fits in for what's kind of going on right now with just all this chaos and um I felt the need that it needed to be released you know right now rather than waiting until whatever the next project is to to put it out um but with the other songs um a majority of them were were done with uh my good friend Ahmad Royale um who's just an amazing producer um written co-written with sam fisher on most of these as well nice um, that's another name we, that's been popping yeah man he's got yeah he's got uh this city has been doing really well for him and uh, he's starting to come out with new music now and he's such an amazing guy and i'm so happy that he's he's doing so well um but yeah it's funny like uh, a good grip of these songs were made you know let alone within the same month within the same week um Wow. In four days, we had um, crowded room, make or break up, and I think too much come out of those of those four days. When and when, like you know, as an artist, you write so many different songs just to get to those core songs that fit into the project. And um, it was really cool to just be kind of that on fire that week and that month to to get a lot of the EP kind of done. Damn, that's that's pretty quick. <laughs> Especially yeah, it's really quick. Like Especially when you mentioned that, you know, you're playing more instruments on this EP. So um, was that a learning curve for you or because, you know, there's there's artists that 
obviously know how to play the instruments, but it's a different it's a different story when you have to play it, record it, and sing it at the same time. Like, did you totally. feel like that was happening for you? Yeah, man. Uh, so I just started learning guitar this year. That was like my like I'm gonna do this, and uh, I've gotten to the point where you know I can play chords pretty pretty well, and um, I'm able to like you know listen to a song and pick out the chords and play them, and um, it's allowed me to yeah just like play little licks and little parts on my songs that um just feels so authentic for me to like be able to play that and i've been playing piano forever so i'm always adding you know synths and and different pianos and whatever type of chords into the songs um but i'm really excited to tour again and play guitar live on <laughs> songs that is something that i tried for a second rehearsing for the last tour and i had no idea how hard it was until i was rehearsing for it i was like all right i'm just gonna i'm gonna recoup i'm gonna get better and i'm gonna come back next tour and i'm just gonna like smash it next tour but then next tour just like <laughs> there's no there's no saying what next tour is right well it's cool that you're constantly challenging yourself um as, you know when you're creating music i feel like it's hard enough to to be a songwriter um but like the fact that you're adding more to it, like that's, that's awesome. Um, so with, with this yeah. EP, like, do you feel like, do you feel like learning the instruments was the challenge or do you feel like uh, writing certain songs was the challenge? Um, I think it's always writing songs for me. Um, I think, I think melodies and chords, you know, they come a lot easier than, you know, concepts that really hit home and really, really fit into what I want to say and um the type of like you know the type of writing that I'm going for it doesn't come like you just can't sit down and just write one of those songs it has to come from a certain sort of like energy that's in the room or whatever that is is really rare and you just have to really take advantage of it when it's there and um you know I'm in a current thing right now writing for this next project where I've written just so so many songs a week and really you know only a couple have come out that i've wanted to keep for for this next body of work and it's really frustrating but it's just part of it and um so writing has always been you know the thing that's that's been the, the hardest mm -hmm. so uh earlier you mentioned that you're not in the states right now so are you are you out in i think you said england correct yeah um yeah, we just wanted to switch it up. Um, I'm at Soho Farmhouse right now. I'm a, I apologize for this music, <laughs> if you can hear it. Um, but uh, yeah, for the first, we've been here for about three weeks now. The first two weeks we were here, we were just kind of like laying low, trying to be really respectful of, um, you know, the whole situation. And I was just in a couple sessions and kind of the extent was walking outside and like exploring London with a mask on and you know, keeping, keeping that sort of distance. And, um, and then this week has been like, you know, our third week and we, we've gone over to Oxford and we got to look at the, the countryside today, look at Oxford university and it's so beautiful. It's, it's such a good switch up from LA, just kind of LA is kind of, you know, a little stale right now. And, right. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty thankful to not be back there right now. Now, how cool is it to be able to like go to different places to get a new perspective or a new, a, a new type of inspiration for your music? It's insane. I mean, this is my first time out of North America ever. And so this is like a very, very brand new experience for me. And um, I've, I've been writing, I've been waking up every single morning and trying to, you know, write down everything that happened the day before, write down how I'm feeling just so I like, mm -hmm you know, don't forget about it and really can hold on to this inspiration. And, um, you know, maybe a week or two after I'm home, after I've really digested it, really be able to, to, to start like writing from this inspiration from this trip. But I've just seen so many new things I could not even begin to explain. It's crazy. <laughs> and, and it's weird because this is like, you know, it's, it's really similar to you, the U S in some sense where I am in a foreign country, but like, mm -hmm everybody speaks English and it's really easy to get around. And it's just crazy, you know, thinking about going to, to other countries. And right. I just want to go to other countries so bad. 
Well, I mean, maybe for another for another for another EP for another record. Who knows? Absolutely, <laughs> that should be part of your contract. <laughs> <laughs> totally, that's hilarious. <laughs> well, dude, thanks again for taking the time to talk to me. Congratulations with Good Things Take Time. Um, by Thank the time you, everyone's watching, the, the EP's out now. So, um, you know, looking forward to, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> looking forward to when these live shows are possible because, you know, when yeah, I first man. met you, we were, you were in rehearsals and just that snippet of the rehearsal was, was incredible. So I can only imagine Amazing, what man. the live show will be for this EP. So congratulations with that, yeah, dude. Thank you so much, man. It's fantastic to talk to you again. You know, maybe we'll just start doing this every year and uh, just keep keep building the uh, the catalog. There we go. There we go. Might be the new thing. <laughs> Perfect.